A few days ago, Microsoft released its Xbox cloud gaming service for iOS devices. And in this video, we're gonna go hands-on and check it out and see if it's a viable option for gaming on the go. But before we do all of that, if you end up liking this video and you wanna see more content from us in the future, please drop a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos. All right, so what you'll need for this to work is a subscription to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which costs about $14.99 a month, but it does include access to so many games that you can play on your Xbox and now, of course, via cloud gaming on your mobile devices. The next thing you'll need is obviously an iOS or iPadOS device. Then simply open up Safari and head to xbox.com slash play. And after signing in, you'll have access to your game library. And you can even pick from where you left off with particular games, assuming it's part of the Game Pass Ultimate collection. I was actually really impressed with game launch and load times and navigating that UI, so much so that I had pretty high expectations set for gameplay. And unfortunately, I was kind of disappointed in that aspect. If you're coming in expecting things to be perfect and seamless, like you are playing on your actual console, it's just not going to be like that right now. So I started off light, decided to use some sports games like MLB The Show and Madden. And with MLB The Show, everything worked well until you actually started to play and noticed massive input lag. I mean, I had to swing pretty early for my actual swing to time up the way I wanted it. After a few minutes, you get it down quickly and it sort of becomes a little bit of a non-issue, but even with like football and Madden, I just kind of needed to be a little bit sharper and faster on my uh, input as opposed to what I would normally be doing. And you get used to it and it wasn't that big of a deal. However, when you head over to things like shooters, um, I don't really play a whole lot of them. I play Call of Duty Warzone on a nightly basis. I'm addicted to that game and that's literally it. I'm not a pro by any means, but I like to think I know my way around a shooter at this point. And I don't know, the lag was so terrible via cloud gaming that I literally felt like I have never played a video game before like this in my life. I felt as I was moving so slow and so fast at the same time. It was a really strange experience for somebody who doesn't game a whole lot. I suppose this is what happens when you're actually streaming a game like this via a cloud service. I remembered my time back with Stadia and playing shooter games and I really don't remember that being an issue. Input lag, was kind of non-existent. I might've experienced more drop frames or a dip in resolution with Stadia compared to Xbox, but nothing like this where movement and timing was just really off. So that's just something to really keep in mind with this platform. It's definitely still a work in progress for some of these games. Now, I do prefer to play games with a controller, but there are also games that are built for, you know, playing on your iPhone via touch. And so I did in fact try them on my iPhone and there was a bit less input lag, but the same theme that I just outlined before kind of translates here still. The on-screen controls were way too close together in some games, uh, and the touch input just seemed off with games that required, again, more timing and precise accuracy. Obviously, there's still plenty of room for Microsoft to improve here, but it's just not something that I would recommend signing up for, at least not exclusively for its cloud gaming platform. It's definitely more of a bonus as opposed to a feature that is worth signing up for. But of course, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know how you plan to use Game Pass now in the future. Are you really gonna be doing a lot more mobile gaming? Let me know in those comments. This has been Darren with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.